what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different this is going to be on a video on my um my current my current um graphics in 5m all of my settings etc etc so you guys can see and get a feel for what i do with my settings or how i configure my settings the way they are a lot of you guys have asked me what would what are my graphics what do i use for my graphics and in today's video i'm gonna be sharing that with you guys so stay tuned make sure you hit that like button i'm gonna give you guys a chance to like it hit that like button subscribe turn on notifications so you know whenever i post you can follow me on all my socials link in the description down below you can also see all of my usual content i usually have everything in a playlist stick together so you guys can see all of that but before further ado let's hop into the tutorial all right guys so if you guys didn't know i currently use nve and quant v but i also add in a little bit of realism beyond and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i implement all three of these different graphics mods into my game um for those of you who don't know quant v is having some issue now um with them having uh their september update having malware or being found with malware now this is the one that i use is from the august um update and it's not from the september update so august update does not have the malware does not have any of that and i haven't i didn't pay for the update and i haven't paid for the update same thing for mve so those these two mods these two graphics mods or from august they're not from they're not from september or anything newer from whenever you guys are seeing this video so the first thing that i implement into my game is going to be the 5m not 5m the nve and when you go to nve there is amb um settings for nve and then there is the, the main package now i only use the i don't use the emb from um from nve because quant v's one in my opinion is a little bit better so what i do is i go into the main package I copy all of these mods from the main package and put them into my game next or put them into my 5m application data so for you guys go to 5m application data you can go to the root of where your 5m is and then you go to mods and then you place all of these in here i'm gonna assume you guys know how to implement in ve i'm gonna assume you guys know how to do that um if you guys don't know how to do that then i would suggest um looking it up on the whenever you purchase you go to purchase your nve it tells you on where to find your 5m application data etc but i'm gonna assume you guys have already done so so this is what i do so i these are the the specific mods that i use you guys can go ahead take a screenshot and um use those for your entire game um i just gonna let you know here on my specs i have a ryzen 7 5800x with a rtx 2070 super um and this is what i run currently with that and i have 32 gigabytes of ram on a 1440p monitor so this is and you guys have seen my graphics and how they work and how they look throughout uh, my videos etc in the um optional add-ons i usually go with the very brightest of lights i use a two i use um number two however i use the old version because the, the new version um it it tries to dim the lights on the inside of the car However, I find that that um, also makes the lights look extremely bad on outside, especially during different parts of the day. Therefore, and that is that part is where that part is where uh, realism beyond and uh, quant v EMV, EMB comes in. So in here, I usually I usually go with high intensity, and as you guys can see uh bright emergency lights high intensity and this is what i usually use i don't use ultra because my gpu probably won't be able to handle it right now and then um you guys can probably match up with here um what packages you want for here and this is what i this is what i currently use with nve so now we're finished with nve we're going to move on to quant v now with quant v there are two different things that you're going to need first you're going to need your 5m application data and then the next thing you're going to need is open iv i'm also going to assume that you guys already know how to use open iv anybody who's into any sort of modding with their 5m or their gta knows that you have to use um open iv and or open 4 however you try to say it make sure you add in all of the the um the package installers for your um 
for your your open iv just to make sure that you have all of those in and make sure everything is fine i accidentally clicked something so things are being weird right now so anyways let's go on to the install for this so for this for quant v you go to install 5m application data mods and then you put in the quant v package in there that is what i that is how you implement um one part of the quant v in next we're gonna go over now instead of using this emb yet right we're gonna go into optionals and then i usually don't use emb performance quality i don't i don't touch those um and actually no i do use those but i'll, I'll show you when when we get there um we go down to optional presets and once you go down to optional presets i usually just choose brighter emergency lights and i take this and i put in the very bright lights into my into my 5m application data so as you guys can see those are the two files right here in my 5m application data and that is all for 5m application data so when we're ready we can close that out and then we're gonna head over to open iv or open four whichever you want to call it all right if you guys move back to the quant v install folder uh you'll see in where you see the normal core files you go back to install and then you see this quant v3 5m emb you make sure that you take this and you drag it into your quant v file sometimes it's gonna break like that especially for rinwar so sometimes you just have to put it on there and then bring it over i don't know what's going on with my open iv so give me one second all right i figured out what's going on with my open iv i didn't press edit mode um which is usually on by default so i don't understand why it changed but um like this it's not usually on for default for you guys it's just that i personally have changed it um all by default and then you can do the quiet v install package installer press install i'm not going to do it now because i already have it installed on my stuff but um make sure you have the quant v package install right there and then next we're going to go back and we're going to go to optionals and then emb performance quality presets and you can go in here and do whatever you want with this um i'm pretty sure that i use the very high which is the default and i just put it in there usually you don't have to do this if you don't want to but this is just so that if you guys have a lower npc or pc that cannot handle the full of both of them you can go in here and have lower presets for your um your quant v so that is going to be all for quant v next we're going to move on to realism beyond now we're back with realism beyond and this one is something that i used to bring back some of my fps bring back some of my my stuff and makes my lights look better at certain points in the day sometimes with nve um your lights look very very dull and drawn out and washed out whenever let's say it's a it's the the weather in game changes to clear or something like that which i don't necessarily like therefore i use um, a little bit of realism beyond so when you use realism beyond um this one i there's so much more with it that you can install but for me i personally just use these mods here and if you guys want you can just use these ones or you can use other, the other packages um that come with realism beyond i know um garrett called sign rice in my community he um he also has a very very good setup with realism beyond so if you guys want to go ahead i can put a link to his channel or his tiktok in the description down below so you can go and check him out as well but for me um i go in here go to citizen Go to common data and all of these files i copy and paste these files in here so that you guys can so that i can get um some of these benefit from some of these realism beyond graphics in my game and as you guys can see through clips i'm gonna be posting periodically throughout this um this thing you guys are gonna be able to see what my graphics settings are oh not my graphics set my graphics are next after this once you guys install that you're completely finished with the all the game stuff now we're gonna go into game and then i'm gonna guys show you guys my settings and my optimization for 5m so that i can run um pretty good i do get a little bit of life from here from here and there usually it happens when there's like 15 cop cars in one area by an mlo and um yeah that's what usually makes me lag out and um when i lag that is with me recording in 2k and 
playing at the same time my fps drops from constant 60 to about 30 maybe under 20 sometimes and it's not that bad because usually i can run perfectly smooth even with all of these cars and everything going around but we're gonna hop into server now and i'm gonna show you guys um what i kind of use for my nve my emb settings in game i only change one or two things for my emb settings in game i'm also going to show you guys my graphical settings so you guys can go ahead and change that on your own pcs all right guys so now we in game we're going to just go through a couple of my emb settings in game if you guys go in game and you press shift enter you'll bring up the um emb settings okay now i'm gonna guess answer you guys really quick before we go any further in the video Please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know whenever I post. I'm going to give you guys a moment to do that. Go ahead and do that right now. And while I'm talking here and um, you guys are going to be able to see my videos. If you're new here, make sure that you do that so you guys can see a little bit of what I do. You can see um, all of the stuff that I do in this community, the difference in this community compared to others. And maybe one day you guys might want to join. So here I'm going to just show you guys a little bit of my settings. Um, so when I go over here, I make sure that I have all of these ones here ticked. Um, I don't enable uh, ambient occlusion. It just, I, I don't know, it gives me such a weird like thing over it. So I, I, don't, I don't use that at all. Um, but the main things that I want you guys to change, you guys are going to be changing um, EMB lens. Once you go to EMB lens, you're going to make sure that it's on quant V, right? make well i use quant v streak uh streak uh, x6 however the one thing that i need you guys to go ahead and change is going to be light streak emergency lights day you guys can go and buff this up as much as you can or the intensity you can buff this up as much as you can to make your lights brighter during the night during the day etc and this is the main setting that i change to make sure that my lights look extremely good uh, for EMB effect, I make sure I have it on EMB series. And then for post effect post, uh, EMB effect post processing, I make sure that that's on quant V and I don't change anything else really in there. So those are the, the, the two or three settings that I usually make sure that I have. And I usually force um, 60 FPS just to make sure that I am getting the most stable frames that I can get. And these are what they look like in game now let's go ahead and i'm going to change the time and change the weather throughout so you guys can see how it really looks at different points in the day so this is early morning you see they're not as they're not dim lights at all and you can see the even the lights on the civ vehicles the cars and stuff like that they look pretty good you can see the reflections on the on the cars and stuff and this is with me using uh nerfed or optimized graphics so you guys get to see this. Let me change the time again. This is morning. This is what it looks like in the morning on in game. Then this is noon. See, not much, not much difference to the lights. The lights aren't dimming, nothing like that. Early afternoon. And then afternoon. And then evening. The lights stay consistent throughout. The lights stay very consistent throughout the time. Midnight. And then night, you obviously will get all of the uh, lighting effects and everything going on. So now the problem time is usually afternoon to evening. Where you get a little bit of light dimming. Especially when you have things like smog or, or neutral settings on neutral weather on your settings. This is usually where it causes a lot of issues for a lot of people. And this is something that is not really a thing here or with my graphic settings because of the quant V and the realism beyond. This is foggy here. Um, just waiting for it to change. And as you guys can see, even the fire truck lights still look pretty bright. It still looks pretty, pretty bright. Let's go to overcast. Because usually this also causes an issue for a lot of persons and a lot of and how people see their lights, etc. But the lights right now still look pretty good. They look still look pretty, pretty decent for, you know, what, what's been happening. All right. 
so you guys get a look at what everything looks like in game i'm gonna show you guys my settings right now so we're gonna go through settings now i have no idea what each of these settings do and i remember i said i'm using a 27 inch super which is a pretty mid-range card at this point so i turn all of these off v-sync off all of that off um distance scaling is pretty much all the way up um population density variety this is just so that they're not random things spawning in the server and if you're in dvrp make sure that all of these these two settings are all the way to the left or down my extended texture budget is all the way up uh texture quality normal shader quality very high shadow quality high reflection quality very high reflection msaa is x8 water quality high particles quality very high grass quality normal um soft shadows softer post effects ultra now for some of these settings if you have a bigger and better graphics card you guys can buff some of these but these are just my optimized settings for a 2070 super with a uh, ryzen 5 5800x and then um anastrophic filtering x16 ambient occlusion normal tessellation very high and those are usually my settings there i can go over into my graphic settings now you guys can see what my graphic settings are you can see i'm in fact in 2560 by 1440p and my long shadows are on etc once i upgrade at the end of the month i'll be able to buff my settings a little bit more and we get to we get to do over another video but for now this is what my current graphical settings look like hope you guys enjoy this tutorial make sure to like comment subscribe turn on notifications so you know whenever i post i'm looking forward to seeing you guys in dvrp if you guys want to join link in the description also down below and um yeah this is gonna be it for this tutorial conservancy out here i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week remember go after all you guys goals in your dreams you guys got this see you later y'all